The parade route is still the scene of an investigation as police and FBI continue to comb through the area for evidence. That's right. Some families are beginning to get back those items that they had to so frantically leave behind. We've been talking about those chilling pictures all week. CBS 2's Asal Rezai live from Highland Park High School for us this morning, where a family assistance center continues to be set up there. Asal, good morning. Chris Mugo, good morning. This is a place where a lot of families have come to gather their belongings, things like chairs and shoes and their children's toys. But it's also a place where we've seen people come to drop off donations for people who are coming here seeking trauma counseling. Now, there's still a lot to process both mentally and physically for the victims of that shooting. Police bringing items here that they've already investigated now here to be released to their owners. Some items too big to be brought here like one woman's car. She says her van was parked near the parade route and she hasn't had access to it or the rest of her family's belongings that are still behind that crime tape at the scene. While the FBI has helped that woman get her van back, there's still a lot of things that people are waiting to show up at the high school here. That woman, a grandmother, tells us what she went through that day and how she's feeling now. I saw people start to run in front of me, at which point I quickly turned to my right, um, which would be towards where the shooter was, and I saw bodies on the ground, several bodies on the ground, and I just took off running. This would be nice to get our things back, if they're around. Now, there's everything from count crisis counseling available for people here, spiritual care, therapy dogs, and child care services. The Illinois Attorney General's Office also providing information on how to access crime victim compensation programs. Now, the counseling and resources here are really for anyone, anyone who's lost somebody on the July 4th, anybody who is going through any type of emotional distress, or anyone who is just present and needs some help somebody to talk to. The doors here will be open starting today at 9 a.m. and even tomorrow, possibly through the weekend from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. I'm live at Highland Park High School. I saw Rizai, CBS 2 News. Okay, I saw. Thank you.